Uh, so while that's loading, um, uh, good afternoon everyone. I'm David Jarrett from uh, Southwell CCG. Um, I've been with the CCG uh, for the last two years and, and prior to that I spent eight years uh, at North Bristol Trust. So um, I've got experience with both commissioner and provider uh, in, in our system. Uh, it's also interesting being the last of three speakers um, just to see the similarities in our uh, priorities and challenges. Uh, but what I'll try and draw out in a, a, a brief presentation is some of the key challenges facing uh, South Gloucestershire. Um, so South Gloucestershire, um, uh, much like North Somerset, is coterminous with our uh, local authority. Uh, the boundary of, of, of the borough um, stretches from uh, very close to Southfield Hospital in, in Filton up to Thornbury uh, and then across to uh, towards the edges of Bath and uh, back to Kingswood. So uh, a mixed urban uh, and rural population uh, with significant challenges that that uh, brings. The majority of our acute flow uh, obviously uh, flows to North Bristol Trust uh, but we also have significant numbers of patients uh, treated at both the IUH uh, uh, and UH Bristol. So just to reiterate the points that both Mary and um, uh, Martin have made around uh, our financial uh, position, but I won't, uh, um, uh, but I'll just put a little bit more detail around it for us. Um, South Gloss is, is the eighth lowest funded CCG uh, in the country. Uh, we have had a slight increase to our um, uh, to our budget th this year, as of uh, uh, thank you North Somerset and, and Bristol, but it still leaves us um, significantly behind where other CCGs in the, in the country are. Uh, we had a planned deficit of 6.7 million last year, um, and we have a planned deficit of 6.7 million for this year. Um, so although um, uh, additional money coming in, uh, there's still uh, not a lot of flesh to, um, uh, to, to spread around. Um, in terms of our uh, population, uh, much as, as Mary has said, we have significant um, uh, issues with uh, obesity uh, and therefore an increase in long-term conditions. Um, we, we do have good health outcomes in uh, South Gloucestershire, uh, but uh, there are a growing number of patients with um, uh, multiple long-term conditions. Uh, and on the slide you can see there the, uh, the increased financial burden that puts uh, on uh, populations uh, with £3,000 per year um, uh, for those with three or more conditions, um, uh, well, three or more conditions with £8,000. Um, uh, and so when we receive only £997 per head of population, you can see uh, the challenge that that brings us. Uh, as per uh, Bristol and North Somerset, we have an increasing um, uh, life expectancy in South Gloucestershire, um, but we've also got huge population growth um, uh, about to hit us with. Um, very large housing developments uh, going up alongside the Ring Road um, and also um, the, the now approved Filton um, uh, Airport uh, development with huge, huge numbers of, of, uh, 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 of people about to move into the, uh, into the patch. But we as a CCG embrace that challenge and um, uh, we've been working hard over the last two years to, uh, to, to deliver on our um, to deliver on our objectives and also now look to how we uh, work with the five-year forward view um, uh, and in, improve services for our population. To summarise our uh, priorities, um, we've set out some key um, foundations for transforming services. Uh, much of this has been, been covered already, uh, but in terms of transforming care planning uh, and care coordination, we've made significant strides this year uh, in bringing together primary and community services in, in virtual wards uh, in South Gloucestershire. We have a new community provider, Serona, um, who now um, uh, run virtual wards uh, with a community matron and practice staff in every practice in South Gloucestershire. Um, and we are really starting to see some evidence of the impact of that in, in uh, admission avoidance uh, to our acute providers. Uh, Martin's already alluded to the Connected Care Programme, uh, but we're also now looking at um, uh, uh, prevention in, in a much more significant way in South Gloucestershire um, and we're about to receive uh, a co-developed um, prevention plan um, with South Gloss uh, Public Health Services um, which we will be looking to um, take forward through our commissioning intentions uh, next year. Uh, Martin's already spoken uh, as well about the need to develop primary care services um, and this, this challenge of 
of developing new primary care uh, provider models, but, but not really being explicit yet um, about what that what that is what that means. What we do have in Bristol, though, is the One Care Consortium and a significant investment in um, uh, in primary care through that um, vehicle, um, and, and that already is is giving us the uh, ability to provide additional support for patients uh, through a seven-day period. Uh, with the uh, additional planned care slots available at the weekend. Uh, we in South Gloucestershire have also commissioned a new primary care frailty service uh, and we're in the process of recruiting uh, GPSIs to that, uh, to that service as we speak. Uh, and we're also developing services for uh, the provision of minor injury services in, in the community. So those are the uh, platforms for our um, priorities. In terms of um, service uh, specifics, um, and this is where you know, the links you know, continue to build with um, some of the hits and you know, I've already made contact with um, uh, some of you here today in terms of how we can, uh, can link our work uh, more closely. Um, but in terms of um, the key objective delivering efficient and, efficient and effective hospital care, um, I think we have been successful in our, in our system in enhancing our uh, system alignment uh, and work on urgent care uh, over the last year. Uh, we have a clearly defined um, set of work across our CCGs uh, and local authorities and uh, acute providers on urgent care, but I still think we have a way to go uh, on planned care. Um, it you would know, it, it, be much more uh, beneficial for us to work together uh, across the system on, on planned care as opposed to individual CCGs commissioning uh, individual um, uh, pathways with providers, so I still think there's work for us to do uh, on planned care. Uh, we have a specific objective around uh, expanding community outpatient uh, services. We have a, a wonderful facility in Yates, which is um, uh, not used uh, particularly well, so if any of you uh, fancy running a, a new clinic out in Yates, we welcome you with open arms. Uh, Cosham is being used um, uh, very well now um, under the management of, of MBT, a significant number of services running through uh, that hospital. Um, uh, certain members of our population would like more, um, but we, yeah, we, we, have, um, yeah, we have developed that service well there. Um, and we have done some particular work on focused pathways, must get to lethal crops up again, third, third presentation running. Um, we've had a focused work across uh, the NSSG on the spinal pathway uh, this year. Uh, which has led to the uh, implementation of uh, the Start Back uh, protocol in South Gloucestershire um, and uh, I'm keen to see that, um, that work develop uh, with the uh, pain hit that we've uh, spoken today about this afternoon. Um, we have an urgent care strategy within the CCG which is um, uh, focused on increasing primary care's input into um, urgent care services and uh, promoting local access to uh, appropriate services. Um, and we also have a key element of our strategy uh, around enhancing rehab and reopening services. Um, we, uh, as we go into this year, will be commissioning the development of infrastructure services um, uh, at both Thornbury and French A uh, hospitals. Um, with the increasingly uh, elderly population, uh, we will be looking to develop a number of uh, new long-term condition pathways uh, in South Gloucestershire uh, and, and links to some of the hits uh, creeping here as well. We've commissioned a new integrated uh, community respiratory service um, and a diabetic specialist nurse service, uh, both of which will be up and running uh, in the autumn. Um, and we've also, for the leadership of Babs, uh, will be uh, uh, rolling out development at the end of life care coordination service. Um, not quite sure of time frames for that, perhaps. Time frames for that? Um, end of October. End of October. Um, Martin's already talked about the re-procurement of uh, IAC services, uh, but we'll also be undertaking a uh, full review of inpatient services uh, provided by AWP over the course of the year. We have a particular challenge with community health services for children in, uh, in the area. Um, it, it was, um, I, I was struck when I joined the CCG of the level of um, uh, feeling by the GP community around the provision for uh, uh, children in, in this area and um, you know, of the small amount of money that we had for investment in the CCG last year, um, a significant proportion of that actually went into uh, child, uh, child and adolescent mental health services. Um, we'll be going through a re-procurement of those services um, uh, this year. 
um, and we look forward to developing uh, those plans. I think I'll pause there as I see 9.57 crop up on the clock. clock. Um, but I think in summary, we, we do have a significant financial challenge uh, in, in South Gloucestershire and across all the three CCGs. Um, but that means uh, more, you know, that, that means for us, we are up for looking at exploring new ways of working, new, new pathways um, you know, to, to, to provide high quality uh, and efficient care for our population. Thank you.